I'm going to show you how I make a living playing roulette online and teach you my methods step by step so that anyone from any location can copy my results. I've been making a living from playing roulette for over eight years, and I've done this by making small daily profits with a low starting balance to minimize the risk. If you want to learn how to play roulette properly and actually make long-term profits, I want you to make a commitment to yourself right now and watch this video all the way through to the end. You see, most people tend to skip through these videos to see what the final profits are, but they miss out on crucial information on when and why I place the bets that I do. So commit to watching these videos all the way through. Play it in high speed if you have to, but don't skip ahead or you will miss out. Let me know in the comments if you are 100% committed to this. It's nice to know who you are, and I will definitely have a lot more time for those who are active in the comments. I would also like to thank all of you who have subscribed to this channel. I will be offering a free one-on-one -on -one coaching session worth $1,000 for every thousand new subscribers this channel receives. I will either select the subscriber at random or choose who I think deserves it based on the comments of these videos. Don't forget to check out roulettecalculators.com. It's a free social network where you can chat to other roulette players, share ideas and betting strategies, and learn from the best. The social network is completely free to join. There are some membership options available for the use of its calculators and betting tools. These tools are web-based so that you can use them on any touchscreen device, laptop, or PC. They can also be used with any land-based or online casino that has either a US or European roulette table. If you would like a free trial to use these tools, head over to facebook.com forward slash roulette calculators and drop me an instant message. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, smash that like button, and drop a comment below to be automatically entered into the one-on-one -on -one coaching competition. Let's head over to the roulette tables now and see what we can do. Hey, what's up, people? Ed Clark from Roulette Calculators, back with session number seven of the um, the 30 session challenge. My um, current balance, sorry, I woke up with a really crappy cold today for some bizarre reason, but uh, yeah, I'm up at 80 pounds profit. I, um, I've had one kind of big setback there, which was 52 pounds. Um, the uh, session after that I made 30. Let's see what we can do on session number seven. So for this one, I've had the auto trackers opened, tracking all of the air powered tables with the positive negative calculator. And basically what I'm going to do is go and look at these um, things here. I mean, seven and seven is not too bad. I haven't got a huge amount of data, 54 spins. I've just left it run for half an hour so far. So seven and seven is not looking too bad. Uh, seven and six are looking a bit better. Let's just go through and see if we can find something good. Five and eleven. Uh, I'm just looking kind of at the positive here. Seven and ten. Uh, seven and six. Uh, what's this? Six and ten. So I've got a whole bunch to choose from. That's five and nine. Nine and nine. Bum, bum, bum. Eight and six. I think the earlier ones were looking a bit better. That's eight and five. Six, uh, eight and uh, sorry, ten and six. Seven, seven again on that one. That's a Greek quantum roulette. Five and ten. And we've got another one here. Seven and seven. And that's mega roulette. So I think the second one was six and seven. Yeah, seven and six on this one. Uh, this one's lightning roulette so let's open that table up we're not going to be uh making any bets on the actual um on the main uh straight up numbers so let's see let me just search for that make it easier so i'll find lightning roulette there's uh, a few of them now extreme so it's this one here 16 and then six yeah that's the results there <clears throat> so, seven and six. Oh, that that the plan to get everything with your waiting for. Bit loud there. A little bit quiet. Okay. So deepest uh, positive dozens seven. I'm going to set that to five. And the 
columns I'm going to set to 4. Okay, and the negative I'm not really going to worry about. Um, that's gone to 19, so I'm going to set that right up at 16. Not really interested in that. We've got auto tracking on. I'll do my starting bet at two pounds per number. Okay, so let's see where we're at. We're on a depth of zero and a depth of one. It'll take a little bit longer on this one because it's not speed roulette, but let's um, see what we can do. I'm going to turn my Mac down a little bit because she is pretty loud. The starting balance, £100 as uh, before. I'm withdrawing all of the profits out. If I drop down, I'm topping it back up to 100 But this is uh, giving you sort of a true count of the, the profit loss over these 30 sessions. So let's see if we can make sort of £25, £30 on this. So number four has gone on there. So depth of um, two on the positive columns. I'm going to set the chip value to one pound i'm going to be doing a unit size of two pounds on this so i'll do uh two four six eight possibly twelve i'm just going to see how how i feel so that's gone to number seven so four and seven is in the same column so that's going to reset that back down to zero and also the um the dozens as well will be zero because four and seven are in the same dozen yeah we've got 52 spins tracked uh but all i'm doing is looking for the values to be fairly low and then i'm going to be betting just beneath those top values the top depths if you're not sure what the positive tracking means it's when this tool highlights orange based on the settings i put here and um what it means is we're looking for a an instance where the ball doesn't follow the same dozen or column. So in the last um, instance, number seven was in the first dozen. It went to 17, which is in the second dozen. So that count increases to one. And also number seven is in the bottom row, this row here. And the next result went to... 17 which is in the middle row so again that's increased that to one so if it lands in the same row that value goes back to zero and the same with the columns and this tool's been tracking how often that happens you know what what the maximum duration uh, of how many spins has gone past before it lands on the same dozen or column whereas this negative here that you can see is up at 19 that's basically looking at how often the dozen has been missed. So if the ball doesn't land in the first dozen, it lands in the second or third dozen, that increases by one. And you can you can see all of uh, the data at the moment. So you can see the third dozen hasn't been landed on in 10 spins. So if you look over here, 13, 17, 7, 4, 15, 22, 16, 6, 4, 3, and then 36. So that is the last time it landed in the third dozen. So now that will increase again by one. So you can see this, um, what was the last number? 13 to 22. Uh, again, that's in the same column there. So when this updates, that is going to go back down to zero. And this is what we want to see. We want to see it um, coming out early. We don't want to see it go to a big depth like the negative did at 19 there. And again, that was in the second dozen both times, 13 to 22. So both of these tracking are back down to zero now. And 24 is in the same um, dozen. It's in a different column though. So when this updates, you'll see that that jumps up to one on the column that stays at zero on the dozen. And these are the trigger points. If it goes to if that number there goes to five, it will highlight on the board. If that number there goes to four, because these are the settings that I've put in, then it will highlight the columns. So essentially, it's just a bit of a waiting game. Uh, it is nice seeing the the positive tends to stay lower in um, in most cases than the negative. I always find that. 
So 24 has gone to 17. So you can see that's in the same dozen, but a different column. So that column's going to increase to two now, but the dozen is going to remain at zero on the positive tracking. The third dozen hasn't been landed on in 13 spins. So that was uh, that 36 was way back there. It still hasn't been landed on. So it's a bit of a waiting game, this, um, this, this way of playing. But if you just want to grab a few units of profit early, it's, uh, it is achievable. Uh, you can see again, number five's come in. That is in the same column as number 17. So that value is going to drop down to zero again now. But the dozens is now at one. So this does it all for you. It's basically... Um, if you've got any sort of rules that you want to play by, you can put the settings in here and then it will alert you when that series of events has happened for you. But in no way does this mean you're guaranteed to win. It's just a tool which is keeping track of all the different aspects of the um, spin history. And then um, you, so it gives you betting ideas, but in no way does that um, guarantee that you're going to win at all. So you see now um, number two's just come in. So that third dozen is going to be at a depth of 15 now. So I'm uh, inclined to place a bet on there now because it's, it's due to come in at some point. You see now depth of 15. But the positive is staying very low. Very low. So that's gone to 19. So I'm going to go on the third dozen now. Uh, it is highlighting. I've set it to 16. But I'm going to go in on the third dozen. It's currently at a depth of 16. So I'm betting on a depth of 16, 17, 18, 19, possibly 20. Um... But yeah, I, I tend not to like to bet on the the negative tracking. Ground is key, I think, prefers it. Whereas I, I always prefer the the positive where it highlights orange. Okay, 25. So I got the bet on there and got the win straight away. I was uh, lucky. Some four pound in profit. And uh, I'm just keeping an eye on the positive tracking now. I'm not really going to worry too much about the negative. I did get the win on there, but that went to a depth of 16, I believe. Uh, but the furthest that's gone is to a depth of 19. So the positive dozens is at 2. That's going to jump up to a depth of three now because uh, number six is in a different dozen to the third. So depth of three on the dozens, a depth of one on the columns. So ideally, we want to see it miss the first dozen. Which it did. It went to number 14, which is a lightning number. So lucky for some. So now that's at a depth of four, the positive dozens. So if it misses the second dozen now, and it lands in the first or third dozen, I'll uh, place a bet out there. Four, 
So it's gone to number one, so there we go. I get to place my first bet on the first dozen. I already know that that's going to highlight because of my settings, so I'm just going to put a unit of two pounds on the first dozen here, like it's illustrating. It also tells you the monetary value of which you, which you can put. You don't have to, but which you can put down based on your starting bet. So as I mentioned, in no way do you uh, have to follow these um, guides, it's basically just showing you what you've selected in the settings here. Okay, number 10, that is in the first dozen, so that is a win for us. Uh, 1 and 10 is in the same column, so you're going to see that one there was at a depth of 3. I would have placed a bet if it went to a depth of 4, but um, that's actually going to clear that one out as, as well, because um, it's in the same column. So you see zero and zero. So we've got eight pound profit so far. I've uh, managed to get both of the wins on the first bet, which is nice. Usually you have to work a little bit for the wins, but not at the moment. Okay, so both of those are at a depth of one. Third dozen hasn't been seen in five spins, nor is a top row. And that's pretty much it. So deep is 50-50. That's an even bet. So 1 to 18, evens, reds, blacks, odds, and 19 to 36. The furthest they've gone is eight. So you know, a lot of people do the martingale system on those, where they're betting on one of them, and then they increase the bet. Um, double the bet each time. So it's gone to 24, 20, and 24 in the same dozen. So that one's going to go to zero. However, the column is going to go to a depth of two. And as you can see here, zero and two. So if it misses the same column another two spins, I will place another bet out there. Lightning Roulette's not a bad table to play this sort of system on because there's uh, 2,341 people on the table at the moment. And this switch here basically refresh on dealer change. Um, I've added this in, so basically that will stop the... Uh, unfortunately, that's gone down to zero again. But that will stop the data being refreshed when a new dealer changes. Now, I've added that on the auto tables like this on the positive, negative, and the area key, and the number tracker, purely because um, they have a dealer on here, which he doesn't do anything, he just stands there, and it's an auto table, so there's no real need for the um, data to refresh on this. So that's an option there. Uh, but I will say if you disable that on one instance, it will disable it on all of the other instances of that particular calculator. So keep that in mind. We will be uh, doing an update where it is independent of each instance. But for the moment, it's not really a big deal. So you can see odd and red are at a depth of five. So if you wanted to sort of follow a martingale system, you can see it hasn't gone past a depth of eight yet. So they'd probably be the good ones to, to go on, odds and reds. But again, it's just purely a, um, a guide there. It's just showing you what the table has done. In no luck is it telling you the future. So you can see odds has come out. That's number 17. So number 17 was odd. So that's going to go to zero. But red's still going to be at number six now, a depth of six. And that basically means that the last red number that came out was number one. 
So the columns is at a depth of two, the dozens is at a depth of one. So I'm see it miss that column, which is the middle column, number 17. And it's gone to 30. So that is the top column there. So that will go to a depth of three now. And also the dozens will go to a depth of two. You see there, depth of two, depth of three. If it misses this column again, if it misses the top column, that will indicate uh, or a highlight on here telling me that uh, my settings that I've put has met that criteria and it will highlight informing me if I want to place a bet I can no way does it mean you have to place a bet number 22 okay so that is in the bottom column so now my bet will be two pounds on the bottom column because I'm chasing. I'm basically betting that it's going to hit on the same column over the next few spins. So you can see it's highlighted there. It's currently at a depth of four. It hasn't gone past a depth of six in the history of the numbers that we've recorded. Only 72 numbers. But that's uh, essentially how this tool works. And if it lands in the middle of the top column, I follow it. So I... I take my bet from the bottom column to whatever column it landed on and then I do a one two three four six progression so in my case it'll be two four eight twelve that's gone to number 19 so I got the win straight off the bat again so three bets I've got it on the first bet each time which is nice they're both at zero I'll have a look down here we we'll see that reds come in it came in uh on 30 All fairly even at the moment. First dozen hasn't been seen in four spins. Yeah, this is um is a good system just to gain a few units of profit. Now some of you only might want to make sort of five or ten pounds in a session. And you can usually achieve that pretty quickly. So thirteen and nineteen. They're the same dozen and the same column, so both of those are going to stay at zero. So it's essentially just a waiting game now. So it has stayed in the second dozen. So again, you can kind of see it quite clearly here. The first dozen hasn't been seen in five spins. The third dozen hasn't been in three spins. And the second dozen has just been seen over and over. So I'm just getting random updates happening. So that's gone to number 10. So finally that first dozen has come out. So let's uh, see if we can start building some of these. Both on a depth of one. So that's gone to 24. Last number was five. So both of those are going to increase to a depth of two now. The um, positive columns and dozens both go to a depth of two. see where this goes so that's gone to 32 so again they're both going to increase to a depth of three now so if it misses the middle column now 
we'll have a bet. I probably will follow both of them if I do manage to get the, the two bets on, on a roll. But uh, obviously the columns would come in first because I'm betting on a depth of four and that. On the dozens, I'm betting on a depth of five. So let's see if it misses the middle column. Number 18. Okay, so it's missed the middle column and also the dozen. So number 18 is the top row. I'm going to go straight in with a one unit bet on the top column. One unit being two pounds. Let's see if it makes me work for this one. I've hit all of them on the first bet, which has uh, been nice, but chances are a zero is going to come out at some point. So that's gone to number 14. Okay, so that's gone to the middle column and it's also the uh, middle dozen. So what I'll do is put the bet on the middle column and then increase that by a unit. So I'm doing four pounds on that, which is bet number two, two units. So it's currently on a depth of five. It hasn't gone past a depth of six since we've been recording uh, the data, which is 79 individual spins. Okay, that's gone to 34, so that is now the bottom column. So what we'll do now is three units on the bottom column, which is six pounds. So now it's currently at a depth of six. This is the highest it's gone since we started recording. It can obviously go higher, we know that. But I've got like two more, two more chances of hitting it if I do the eight pound and 12 pound bet. I'm expecting a zero to come out soon though. So where's that gone to? That has gone to number 19. So that has given me the win. So I'm now at 118. So I'm gonna have to wait for these to uh, increase again. The dozens is at a depth of two now. So we need that to miss another three times. First dozen hasn't been seen in six spins, top row in three, and blacks haven't been seen in five spins. So 19 to 15, that's the same dozen. So that's going to revert that one back down to zero. But it's going to increase the columns by one. And as you can see here, and that's cleared out that uh, that depth on blacks because uh, that was a black number. Another thing I like to do with this is copy out all of this spin statistic data and then uh, organize them by percentage of how much they've been seen. And then you kind of get a true count on the hot and cold numbers. And that's also another gameplay strategy. Uh, if you look back uh, several videos ago, me and Grounders Key, we did a live stream on Quantum Auto Roulette using that. I was betting on the top 20 hot numbers. He was betting on the top 20 cold numbers. And yeah, we just wanted to see if we could turn a profit doing that. We both in the end, uh, when we evened out the money in each account, made a profit of £30.50 each. So, I mean, that was uh, that was good. I want to do a, a couple more of those just to see if, if it is feasible. But with that particular strategy, you are relying on the multiplier numbers hitting. Um, if they don't, your balance just slowly disappears. But if a lightning number does come out, or a multiplier number, you're guaranteed to get the, uh, one of you is guaranteed to get the win there. So five and two, they're both in the same uh, column there. So that's going to get set back down to zero on both of them. 
So it is a bit of a bit of a waiting game this. But you can see the balance, you can slowly increase it. And the idea is you want to get your wins. You know, all you need is like four or five wins and then get out. And then you've made a, a bit of profit. If you sit on there all day, of course you're going to get a big long string of, of misses. And you'll end up wiping your balance out. So um, I recommend using this tool slow and steady. Just get a small profit, leave the table. Get another small profit, leave the table. And uh, that's that's how I like to work this system. Back in the day, I found it a lot more even. And, you know, I'd see this day, it wouldn't really go past a depth of six in, in oh, wow, thousands of spins. I, I, <laughs> I see it. Uh, and, I, I, you know, I managed to take £20 up to £5,000 uh, just by sitting on it all the time. But I do find that they don't behave as well. Maybe it was because of that, but they, they tend to vary it a lot more now. I still always find that the positives are always lower than the negative. So I kind of jumped out and went to number 14. 500x lightning numbers, that was pretty sweet. Okay, so we're on a depth of 1 and a depth of 2. That's nice, look at the payout, 149,000. If I was everyone, I would leave this table right now. Let's see if it does. We've got 2,428 recorded. When this updates, it updates every 11 seconds. So I want to see if uh, lots of people leave after that nice win. 2,410. 2,3,45. So you can see a few people are leaving now. Okay, so that's going to go to a depth of three now. So, if it misses the bottom column, I will place a bet out there. Thirty-one, so it hit the bottom column. Interesting, though, because the lightning numbers were on the middle and the top. There was no lightning number on the bottom, and it hit that. So, I wonder if they can control it in a sort of way like that. I'm just kind of uh, bouncing around, trying to uh, get another opportunity to place a bet. I could drop the the values of these. But I'm just like. When I'm trying to make a small profit, I don't really need to risk it too much. Um, if I had that set to uh, lower, I would have got the profit very quickly. But if I got it where it went to like a depth of nine, eight or nine, then, uh, you know, I'd risk losing. So, you know, it's all user preference. It's gone back to a depth of zero, zero. Uh, how long has the video been? It's 33. It's half an hour. So, you know what? I'm going to back out. I'm going to... Um, I'm just going to take £18 profit. It's taking way too long uh, for this particular table. So, let's uh, withdraw that 18. So, withdraw. Measly £18. But, hey, it's still profit, isn't it? So withdraw that. That's going to put me back to 100. I'll record £18 profit. That's uh, put me to £98 profit uh, in total. Um, not a huge amount, but obviously it's um, it's profit. So we'll take it. And that's uh, session seven. So thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. If you do like these videos, give the video a thumbs up. Also, drop a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. You'll automatically be um, entered into the one-on-one -on -one coaching competition. That's where I'll uh, take one of you either randomly or um, who I think deserves it based on the comments. And I will give you a one-on-one -on -one coaching session for 
not so much this sort of strategy, but more the dealer tracker, area key, the sort of ones where I'm playing with dealer signatures, which is my preferred gameplay. You can make a, a lot more uh, faster, but obviously there's a little bit more risk because you're covering more of the table. But uh, I want to show you exactly what I look for and the bits and pieces like that. So thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. And as always, please bet smart.